hey guys what's up so today i'm going to discuss about important indexes like human development index corruption perception index all these indexes are very very important and you should know the relative rank of india for the first two or three index we will talk about what they are composed of which organization releases them just to give you an idea of ki aapko kya padhna chahiye kaise type ke question aa sakte hain and then i will go through quickly about all the indexes in one go but first of all let me just create the link for you guys and let us wait for everybody to join this live session and uh, you can ask your comments and doubts on the anacademy.com uh, link which i'll be sharing just about now okay so just wait a second for me to create the link and uh, please ask all your doubts and queries on that link uh, so that it is crystal clear as to uh, which query that i am supposed to answer okay so yeah just wait for 5 minutes that's all now like the most important index is obviously human development index which everybody should know about and it is like very frequently asked uh, this this kind of index is very very frequently asked so that that it makes all the more sense for us to watch it so uh, the first and the foremost thing is human development index so human development index it is basically made up of three things one is life expectancy other is education third is the per capita income and uh, these are the indicators which are used to rank countries into four tiers of human development and uh, basically a country wherever the life span is more the education is more and gdp per capita is higher there uh, the hdi will obviously be higher so it was developed by the famous two economists that is mahbubul haq and indian economist uh, amartya sen okay so from 2010 like inequality adjusted hdi is also being published and uh, so that is important to adjust it to the inequalities so just focus on the new methodologies so new new methodologies includes life expectancy index uh education index and income index i will not go into details as to how you have to calculate it but it takes logarithmic then it involves mean uh, year of schooling and index and expected year of schooling index and then it takes the average for education index and life expectancy index is le that is life expectancy of a country minus 20 divided by 85 minus 20 so and uh, then you calculate hdi is equals to root cube root of uh, like basically you multiply the three index So you take a geometric mean of all of three. So in 2015, the 2016 report is not yet released. So in 2015, uh, the index was Norway topped it, and it had the highest score of 0.944 out of possible one. And Australia, Switzerland, Denmark, Netherlands, Germany. These were the countries that followed Norway, and uh, India was way way below. So India did not have a great rank in HDI. So I'll talk about all the ranks in one go. So first, uh, the important stuff uh, we have covered that is how what is HDI. So you should read it in as much detail as possible. Otherwise, you will not understand much of the things. Okay. So now let's move on to yeah. So the second one is ease of doing business index. So when we talk about ease of doing business index, we are essentially talking about a world bank group index so what do you understand by it it is basically talking about how easily can you do business in a country uh, what are the regulations are they good or bad if you have to uh, bribe uh, people officials etc so higher ranking matlab and low number that is 8 9 10 it indicates like it's better and it is uh, the country is better there are less regulations it is very simple and there are stronger protections of property right and uh, basically it shows the economic growth impact of Uh, whenever you improve these regulations the economy becomes stronger so that is why this is done usually the developing countries like uh, uh, india etc they have low ranking in ease of doing business index while the countries like usa etc they have a very high ranking so it is basically done on 10 sub indices that is uh, starting a business that is procedure time cost involved 
minimum capital to open a business etc then getting electricity whether it is easy or not then dealing with construction permits then registering the property is it easy or is it very hard then getting the credit then protecting investors paying taxes uh, trading across the borders uh, enforcing contracts resolving insolvency so these are the important stuff which you should know about and uh, again i'll talk about all the rankings like who is the topper and who is the, at the bottom so new zealand is the rank one when it comes to 2017 and uh, it usually switches between new zealand and singapore so singapore is considered the best country in the world to start the business except for this year for last 10 years singapore was the rank one then you have denmark hong kong etc so these are the countries uh, which are considered the best to start the business okay india comes at a number 130 so it is a very very bad ranking uh, so we are like near cambodia tanzania these are the countries out of 190 where 190 is somalia which is considered the worst country ever to start a business so india is at 130 so it is uh, like not a pretty picture at all so these are the two important indexes now let us move on to the corruption perception index so transparency international is an organization that has been publishing the corruption perception index for last 20 years roughly okay so it is perceived level of corruption now nobody can actually go in a country and and measure ki how corrupt a country is so it is a perceived level of corruption as determined by expert assessments and opinion surveys and corruption perception index generally defines corruption as the misuse of power that is the uh, public power or the authority for private benefit so it usually ranks the countries from 100 100 ka matlab hota perfect country hai it is absolutely clean there is no corruption zero matlab highly corrupt okay so basically then again it is about a lot of surveys goes into it and lot of organization different institutions they are involved in high quality surveys so and uh, so basically corruption perception index is very highly actually uh, related to the corruption so that is why this ranking is very important so clean countries will include scandinavian countries like norway denmark finland so denmark is rank 1 here and followed by new zealand finland sweden switzerland norway singapore netherlands canada germany uh, india again does not fare that well in this index not at all like india has a very poor ranking and uh, so it is at 79th number so that is considered a very very pathetic rank uh, in such an indexes so we ought to improve the rank and how will you improve the rank by like the public opinion should change uh, about the corruption so this was a transparency internet uh, internationals thing then in this uh, ease of doing business index we were at 130th number because this list is uh, like the number one is new zealand followed by denmark then there is global competitiveness index okay so this is the number one is switzerland now you don't need to read the details about them but at least know the relative position of india india comes at 39th number in this then you have global hunger index so this this is like uh, it is at 97th number which is a very very bad number okay like global hunger index again in 2000 uh, so what do you mean by uh, global hunger index what does it do so basically global hunger index it calculates uh, the relative hunger uh, which is present in your uh, countries so you don't need to need read much about it because like nobody is going to ask you what is it but just to know the ranking of india and uh, how does it fare as compared to the other world then you have sustainable development goal index again it is a very very important index so india is at rank 110 in this and this list is topped by sweden which is followed by denmark norway etc then you have world happiness index so you might be knowing about gross happiness index uh, gross this uh, is gdp hota hai so gross happiness jo hota hai usko it is developed by bhutan so similarly there is world happiness index so this list is again topped by denmark followed by switzerland iceland where people are people consider themselves to be generally happy but uh, when it comes to india we come at 118th number so this is a very very bad number then we have world press freedom index of 2016 so we come at 133 number this list is again topped by finland and it is followed by netherlands and norway so world press freedom index it means the the press is really free in the scandinavian countries and it is not at all free in our part of the world because we are at paltry 133 number so you can just imagine the like the ranking which india has it's like really really pathetic like absolutely it is so bad 
then there is intellectual property ip index where like it determines like how much uh, ips are being filed so we are at 37 number in this and uh, corruption perception index is like uh, the hindu may article but rather it's at 76 in that and uh, then there is a uh, human development index so which was the most important thing so we come at 130 number which is again bad it is below average and uh, we need to improve on that as well so these are the major indexes and uh, obviously like there are other stuff also but that is not important from the exams perspective when uh, we talk about uh, literacy we come at 168 number in the world again it is very very bad then when we talk about uh, population density index we come at 31 number and uh, then when we talk about uh, uh, fertility rate we come at 79 number out of like, like 220 then uh, when we talk about uh, GDP then we come at when per, per, per nominal terms we come at 7th number and when we talk about PPP terms we come at 3rd number and per capita GDP we come at 122 number and global innovation index I think I have covered already we come at 66th number in that so you don't need to uh, so these are the major indexes so you need to learn about them and uh, try to figure out as much as possible uh, about these index they are very helpful in your prelims examination because direct questions are asked from them most of the time okay so so Rishabh Bhadori is asking sir I will give civil services after two and a half years should I start preparing from now onwards or after one year so Rishabh you can start preparing right now try to read NCRT as much as possible India Airbook, Economic Survey etc so don't wait for one year just start preparing right now so Ankit Kishore is asking sir an academy which reports and dices ka lesson I that would be sufficient yes so our educator Arpita she has made a course okay so you can just go to her profile Arpita and uh, on a demographic we bought a chance was when I have to be there now that is more than sufficient especially for a prelims perspective so uh, Rehan Jain is asking which stream is best for IAS and class 11th see you don't need to worry about your stream you can take any stream arts lelo science lelo koi parak nahi padata whichever stream suits to you you think about when you go get into college of first year then uh, Rajdeep Saxena is asking who make changes in ROPA Parliament or Election Commission. So whenever it comes to act, any act, whoever the body is, for example, if the Parliament Act will change the Parliament, the state legislature will change the state legislature. So whoever made that act, they can amend it. If it is written in that act, if it is written in that act, if it is written in that act, it can be amended. So Swapnil Devang is asking what will be more helpful, watching your made lessons on quality or crash course by Venkateshar at this time. So, अगर किसी को fundamental rights बिल्कुल scratch से पढ़ना है, तो मेरे वाले course देख लेना। If you want to just go through the like crux of it, then watch Venkatesh's course because they are in crash course format. So, Kuhu Mehta is asking, sir, I usually follow the Hindu videos and not the newspaper due to time constraint. Is it fine or is it necessary to read the paper as well? See, the best case scenario is आप video देखो 10-15 मिनट और उसके बाद आधे घंटे के newspaper पढ़ लो। so that is the best case scenario but if you can't do that if you have to choose either or then watch the video because it will be covered in the next video so Shiv Shankar is asking please tell Gurupreet Singh sir to continue his course word power made easy so it will be communicated to him don't you worry and Vipul Srivastava is asking more videos on maps sir so I'll ask some other educator to start this series restart this series because a lot of other people are also asking for this so Vinish has asked what you make please on how to read the maps please continue the series okay Vinith and Vipul we will ask some of our best educators to start teaching them Samiksha Goswami is asking I am just going through with the summary videos is it fine or I have to read Hindu so again I have told you you can read both of them so you don't need to choose either or or so you can just go through both of them very quickly so I don't think that will be an issue so let me see more questions then so people are asking like if we will upload some uh, more mock test uh, Harpal Singh is asking only index or possible factors on which they are determined so some of the index you have to read the possible factors also like HDA etc otherwise you can like get away with it Vishu Prakash is asking please make a video on space technology you can ask somebody else to make it and uh, so Faizan Aslam is asking can you please suggest which is best AIMS, MBBS or IS 
you do M P S noise and then we know my S and कभी ना प्रकाश आर एच ओगेटर इज आस्किंग आर पोजिशन इंपॉर्टेंट और जस्ट नेम ऑफ रिपोर्टेंट एजेंसी थ्री पोजिशन आर इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज यू राइट एन एस एट गिट गिज वेट टू योर आंसर अदरवाइज कोई और भी इंपॉर्टेंट उससे ज़्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट नहीं बट ट्राई टू रिमेंबर इट फॉर दी एस ए एस ए स्पेशली एक रफ आइडिया लग जाता है तो काफ़ी अच्छा रहता है एंड एजेंसी तो ऑब्वियसली इंपॉर्टेंट है ही और वो डिटरमाइनिंग फैक्टर्स भी इंपॉर्टेंट है सो थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस विल कंटिन्यू टूमारो प्लीज़ डाउनलोड दी एन अकेडमी ऐप इट विल बी ऑसम थैंक यू